<laughs> Hi, ladies and gents. Welcome to season three of the award winning Monday Minutes. I'm your newest host, Tamika Hall, licensed realtor with Keller Williams First Coast Realty. This season, we're going to focus on all things real estate and also help you focus on your future. In real estate, whether buying or selling, a realtor is probably the most important tool in your arsenal. Um, why do you ask? Um, there are several options or things that your realtor has that you aren't going to be aware of. Though there are programs or um, websites such as Zillow or other options that you may have like Redfin that start you on your journey, they aren't going to guide you through to the finish line. So with that being said, here's why you need to use a realtor. Your realtor is actually going to provide you with an idea of what your buying power is. What is buying power? That's how much you can afford and how much you're likely going to put down on your transaction. Um, Zillow is not going to be something that's going to give you that information. Not only is that one thing, they are also going to be a resource for you in your home search. So there are several options or platforms that your realtor is going to have access to that aren't available to you as a civilian or a non-licensed real estate agent. Um, not only will they provide you additional options in your research, they are also going to provide you tools and assistance in actually negotiating your transaction. Everything is great once you find the home, but what do you do after that? How are you going to provide an offer to your seller? Um, if you are going to be the seller, how do you understand the offer that you're being provided from the other agent on the other side? Um, these are things that you're going to get from a realtor that you don't think about possibly until you actually start the process. Um, a realtor is also good if you're doing new construction. Keep in mind that that realtor or that agent on the other side, should I say, for the builder is there for their builder. Um, they will assist you, however, they are not there for you. Um, they're there to get the transaction done and their primary concern is going to be that builder. So even in those transactions, it's very helpful to you as a buyer to go in with a realtor who's there to advocate for you in this transaction as well. Your provider or your realtor is going to be there to assist you through the process after the contract has been accepted. When selling your home, your realtor is also going to provide you up-to-date information on what's going on in the current market, potential financing options that are available, um, as well as how to best price your home. They're also going to know when, where, and how to market and advertise your property to get you the best price um, for that home that you're looking to sell and as quickly as possible. They're also there to negotiate on your end as the seller. These are things that aren't taken into account, um, especially if a buyer on the other side may have an agent. They make your home accessible. They provide you free time to continue on with your life in the midst of also selling your property. So Realtor is beneficial not only to the buyer, but also to the seller. There is a cost associated. However, if that agent is able to help the seller sell that home that much faster, that's additional money back in their pocket and peace of mind that much faster. Your Realtor is also going to provide due diligence throughout the process of evaluating the home. There are inspections that take place. Um, they are also going to advocate for any issues that may arise within the process um, and also give you a play-by-play -play on um, what things may come about from an inspection or the appraisal process as well. Last but not least, your realtor is actually there to provide you a peace of mind. They give you your sanity um, and they also give you time back to help you get this transaction and this process done faster. It's a very stressful process whether you're the buyer or the seller. And with that realtor, you're there to make it that much easier on yourself. If you have any questions, you can certainly feel free to message them to me, whether it be on the group page and or my social media. I'm always here to help. Thank you all so much for your continued loyalty and support. Please feel free to follow us on all of our social media platforms, which you'll find here listed below. And for all added tips and questions, feel free to also visit me on my pages, which will list for you as well. This was our episode of Monday Minutes. Thank you so much for tuning in.